Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we will discuss the principles in the 4-hour workweek by Tim Ferriss. The crux of the book revolves around how to spend less time working so that you have more time and freedom to live life to the fullest. The main strategy is focus on running a successful online business while minimizing hands-on management. Hence, this book will be of interest to any budding online entrepreneur while also applicable to anyone who seeks to minimize time wastage in day-to-day -day living while maximizing the results of their efforts. So let's dive straight in. The book introduces the notion of thinking like the new rich. What is the new rich? It is a new generation of entrepreneurs who maximize the perks of online business to lead a comfortable life while being financially secure. To these individuals, happiness is not obtained from working a traditional 9 to 5 while stashing away loads of cash in the bank. Rather, joy is brought about through living with freedom and choice, provided there is sufficient cash flow. The new rich understand the difference between relative income versus absolute income. Let's take a look at a hypothetical example to illustrate the point further. Bob works in a busy corporate job and earns $100,000 per year but he works 40 hours a week. Assuming 48 working weeks, this works out to be about $52 per hour. In addition, Bob has a monthly living expenditure of $2,500 living in a big city. On the other hand, Tom is an e-commerce business owner and he earns 70 grand per year. Tom only works 4 hours per week, hence having a much higher relative income of $364 per hour. In addition, he lives in Phuket, Thailand and has a monthly expenditure of $1,500. While Tom's total income is less than Bob, he has a higher relative hourly income, he works less and has a lower cost of living. He's then considered to be relatively wealthier of the two. Many of the new rich like to live and work in countries such as Thailand or Indonesia, where the dollar stretches further due to the differences in currency exchange rate a concept known as dual arbitrage. Of course, it is worth asking how applicable is this concept to everyone? Surely not everybody can be a globetrotting entrepreneur. This may be true, but perhaps now is the time to ponder which path would you like to take in life? Are you happy in your current job and will you be happy in the same job in the future? Or are you willing to expand the creative mind and consider other work options which may provide you with the income and freedom to live life on your terms. Once an online business is founded, Tim Ferriss advocates generating a workflow based on three basic actions. Eliminate, delegate, and automate. These actions provide a great framework to minimize day-to-day hands-on management, while it is also applicable to everyday living. The first action of eliminate focuses on two fundamental principles. Principle 1, the Pareto Principle or the 80-20 rule. In business, 20% of sales leads to 80% of revenue. Hence, Tim suggests focusing sales to the top 20% of the customers and keep them happy while reducing time and energy spent on pleasing the remaining 80% who provide minimal revenue to the business. In life, focus on building deep and sustainable relationships with the 20% of people who bring you 80% of your personal happiness and growth. This will ensure you don't waste time and energy pleasing those who provide minimal value to your life. The second principle is linked to Parkinson's law, which states to improve efficiency, define the timeline for any task, set it and stick to it. Remember, the same task that could be completed in two days may also take two weeks if we decide to procrastinate. So stick to the shortened time frame and focus entirely on the task at hand with no distraction. Make sure it is completed within the designated time frame. Following this, any task that cannot be eliminated should be delegated or outsourced. For example, a magazine content creator could spend hours researching a topic of interest before writing actually commences. Alternatively, the writer may engage a reputable virtual assistant from a different country to perform background research. And by virtue of time zone differences, the virtual assistant completes the required research while the writer is asleep. The information is then summarized and packaged 
and the report is sent and available to the writer by the following morning, hence allowing the writing process to begin quicker. So if you were to consider a side hustle, but still need to work your primary job, what could you delegate or outsource? Once you embrace delegation, don't feel guilty about it. Rather, spend your time wisely, do something you love, learn a new skill, and just make sure your income covers the expenses. Finally, any task that can't be eliminated or delegated ought to be automated. For example, in business, automated payment processes are becoming mainstream. Hence, business owners do not need to chase up customers for overdue invoices. In life, some things such as bill payments and grocery delivery services can help reduce time commitments as well. Lastly, the book highlights three key mindset messages for living life to the fullest. Number one is that being busy and working hard is not the only way to success. Rather, we should spend more time thinking rather than doing. Take time to ponder and reflect as this is the only way new ideas are generated. Aim to become more resourceful and keep learning. 2. Redefine your ultimate goals and take steps to reinvent yourself and strive to achieve the targets you set. Don't let distractions throw you off track. Let's say your big picture goal in life is to become a YouTube content creator then commit full-heartedly to master the skills to become the best content creator in your niche. 3. Consider mini-retirements. Tim suggests that the traditional approach to working 30-odd years and hoping that one day retirement would be enjoyed is risky, because our plans could be derailed by poor health or worse still, death. Rather, one should consider taking mini-extended breaks to travel and explore new cultures and countries. This will help rejuvenate and revitalize the mind and allow a person to grow further. On reflection, this book does challenge many norms of thinking. While it does focus on the perks of online entrepreneurship, I believe that the principles discussed demonstrate how soul-searching, the redefinition of life goals, and the application of elimination, delegation, and automation are applicable to not only businesses but also to living a more productive life in general. There is so much to explore in this world and our life is short, so rather than getting caught up in the rat race, let's make the best use of our time on earth and experience life to the fullest. I hope you found value in this video and if you did, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button and commenting to help this channel grow. All the best and see you next time.